What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another episode of Boost to the Top of VGC 2021. Today I'm using a team from Poketana who dropped the team in my Discord server. If you guys wanna check that out, link in the description down below. I use teams from there once in a while. This team is centered around Swampert and Galarian Moltres. Since they said in a little write-up that they left with the team that they thought that Galarian Moltres plus Tapu Fini was kind of weak against Rotom Heat. So they swapped it out for a Swampert and ended up working out really well. So that's the team I'm going to be using today. If you guys enjoy this at the end point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I'm bringing you guys some daily Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC content. And comment down below what you think is an underrated Pokemon in the format now that it's developed quite a bit. Like what Pokemon you think should be seeing more usage that really isn't. I'd like to know what you guys think. But yeah, uh, team paste will be in the description down below and the code for the team's on screen. Let's go ahead and try it out. Luckily, uh, this is one of the teams that whoever dropped it, Poketana, they actually left me the paste for the team. So I know the AV spreads. This is my first time using it though, my first outing with it. So hopefully we can get some wins. I'm really excited to use Swampert though. I think Swampert is probably one of the coolest Pokemon we've ever seen, just design wise. I love him. And I think he was actually my first choice when I played through Emerald the first time. I played through that game so many times, but I'm pretty sure he was the one I went with my first time through. All right, let's see what we got here. Also, I'm still recording from home, so like the audio quality on my microphone is going to be a bit different since I don't have my, my compressor settings that I usually have on my main PC. I'm recording off a laptop right now. Oh, also... Also, today is Black Friday, and I want to try to take advantage of some deals to try to, you know, upgrade the, like, the hardware I'm using to record. And I can't decide if I want to get a new microphone or a new capture card. I think I'm going to go with the microphone, but I've been using this really cheap capture card for years, and if you guys can't tell, my video quality isn't quite on par with other YouTubers, so I don't know which one you guys would prefer. Let me know in the comment section down below which one you think needs to be upgraded first. I might get both, but I don't know if I'm in the financial position to do that. Okay, so we see Sandrush, Dracovish, plus Tapu Lele. It looks like a, a like a modern sand team, actually. We have a Tornadus. Um, Kartana is really powerful on lead, especially if they don't lead off with the Zapdos, which typically carries Heat Wave. I think I'm going to have to go... Huh. I think I need Regieleki on lead. And Kartana. Moltres in the back doesn't look awful. But I need the screens up to succeed with it, I can guarantee you that. And I think my last Pokemon, I could go Swampert pretty safely. It's actually really nice in this matchup. I can eat hits up. And I really just want to showcase the Swampert first, so. <laughs> I don't know, I could have also gone Rotom Heat, but I think I want to do Swampert. Alright. You don't really see too much Dracovish higher up on the ladder. I'm, I'm interested to see how they, you know, perform with it. Tornadus Metagross. I mean, my Regieleki is in danger here, but... I definitely need the screens, I think. Hmm. Oh, wait. Hold up. What's my item? I'm, I'm like Clay, right? I forgot to double check. Okay. So, I'm pretty certain they're just going to go for a ground move into the Regieleki. And try to knock me out. I could try to get in the Moltres here for the for the Regieleki. And the Dynamax doesn't seem too bad in the Kartana, but it feels a little early to do it. You know, I'll go for it. I'll go for it. They're just going to Tailwind up and knock out my Regieleki anyway, so if I can waste one of their max moves, that'd be great. Moltres the Sleepy. Bro, me too. I'm kind of sleepy right now. Day after Thanksgiving, I'm real tired. Now, I'm really hoping they Dynamax here. And I am Assault Vest Kartana with max special defense investment, so I should take like a Hurricane or whatever they want to go for, as long as there isn't a Heat Wave coming my way. Yes, okay, good, they Dynamax. I was concerned for a minute, it was taking a second. Uh, they should be going for the Max Quake, though. If they went for, like, a max ice move, I'm going to be real disappointed, since that's not at all common on Metagross. Or I guess, like, it is common, but it's like... I don't know why I just said that. It, it is common, but it's not common to make that play on a on a Reggie Alecki, you know? You have the ground move at your disposal. It 
as he steel spikes, okay? That's fine, actually. I'm cool with that. I'm actually very cool with that. I'm the coolest. Okay, so I'm going to outspeed this Metagross this next turn, I believe, at plus one. Oh, wow, that did nothing. What? How bulky is this guy? Wow, that's concerning. Um, I think my play here is to protect and try to get my weakness policy and then go for another max airstream. Because they should definitely be going for the ice move on this Moltres, I think. Wow, I did not expect to, uh, <laughs> I did not expect for it to do that little. Max airstream, hopefully went for the ice move on my Moltres. Alright, they're within range of Steel Spike next turn, so I can go for that. And they're definitely going for a flinch in the Moltres. Okay, maybe they're not within range of a Steel Spike. <laughs> that's Citrus Berry. Yeah, that's an extremely bulky Tornadus. There's the Max Quake. That's fine, I should eat that up pretty well. I can Steel Spike this turn, I don't really need any more speed boosts. As soon as this Tornadus is gone, you know? And this is kind of risky. Um, if I survive this turn, <laughs> which Moltres might not, because they're probably... They, they might just go for... I, I really hope that they don't knock me out with the Ice move. I think this is my only chance. I have to max Steel Spike into this Tornadus right now, boost my defenses, and I'm just going to go for the Nasty Plot. It's, it's kind of a risky play, but I just can't afford to uh, get completely swept by this thing. And I don't want to go for the, I don't want to go for the burning, not burning jealousy. I don't want to go for the fiery wrath because there's a, they're definitely going to live it. And I'm just going to give them weakness policy, you know? So it just isn't worth the risk. And this, this Moltres doesn't have too much bulk either is the thing. It's just max special attack, I believe. Yeah, it's max speed, max special attack, which I don't agree with that for a Moltres spread. I think you definitely need to be a lot bulkier than that, but hopefully at plus one defense, we can take this hit. Probably not. Maybe they just went for it into Kartana. Who knows? I really hope so. At least we get an attack boost in Kartana, though. Finally. Nasty plot up. If I survive this turn, I think I just win. I don't see how I lose if I survive this turn. There's the Hailstorm. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. You got this. Oh. Oh my god, we live. And we also take the Hail. Oh my god. Okay, this is going to work out. I think this is going to work out, as long as they don't have any priority on their side. They're just going to protect too, though, is the issue. They have no reason not to protect here. And we're at plus 5 in one turn. Take some hail damage on both my mons. Moltres gets like one... Oh no, wait. I think I get to hit two things, and then I go down. Alright, if they have fake out, I'm, I'm just dead. And that Moltres setup was for nothing. Okay, there's the Tapu Lele. Moltres is at plus two. Both these guys are going down. Yeah, because even Scarf Tapu Lele won't outspeed anything on my side of the field since I got that plus two speed. Awesome. We're in a great position here. How many special defense boosts does this, um, does this Metagross have? I think like one, right? Yeah, he's got plus one, plus one. So we'll just click the Fiery Wrath. We should be safe to do this. Uh, and I'll actually just go ahead and go for the Smart Strike onto the Tapu Lele. Let's see if they have Protect on the Metagross. Because they should click it here if they do. What are they going to go for? They're scared, man. I can tell. Oh, okay. So they are Choice Scarf, but they went for it into the Kartana. I could... Wow. I'm surprised it actually outs... Oh, wait. They have one more turn left to Tailwind. I'm an idiot. Okay, so they're Scarf. I, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. For some reason, I thought, I thought the Tailwind ended last turn, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I almost threw away that whole game. Okay, yeah, we win. I almost threw away that whole game because I didn't know how to count Tailwind turns. 
Cortana takes some heal damage. Moltres takes some heal damage. Survives. Tailwind's gone. There we go. Now we just win. <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry for everyone screaming at me in the comments saying, Marcos, Marcos, the Tailwind, the Tailwind, Marcos. What are you doing? You're throwing. Marcos, you're throwing. There's no crying in baseball. Like, that's that's what the comments said. I guarantee it. In fact, if you guys are watching at this point, go ahead and comment comment right now. There's no crying in baseball. <laughs> Everyone who, like, just clicked off the video or just, you know, stopped in or fast-forwarded past this point, they're just going to be like, what? Why, why is everyone saying there's no crying in baseball? <laughs> All right. And if you haven't already left a like, leave a like for the Moltres. Just absolutely destroying that, dude. 200 likes, 200 likes and all, I won't quit YouTube. <laughs> all right, let's continue. Yeah, I would say that the only real criticism I have of the team right now is I think that it, it definitely needs a little bit more bulk on the Moltres. All right. Who we got? Donsky. Rank 4,121. And wow, this is actually a pretty scary team. It looks like it's just Tailwind shenanigans with uh, Fake Tears, which, man, this is one of the few situations that this team definitely needed Tapu Fini more than Swampert. Um, I have no Focus Sash users, and I have no Fairy types. So this is not going to go extremely well. It's not going to go extremely well. What I could try to do is go Moltres on lead and hopefully knock out the Regidrago since they should always bring Regidrago. I don't have any fairy types to counter it with. And I think I, I need the screens to succeed. But I can't lead off with it, unfortunately. I need to be able to protect too. Dang it. All right, I don't have very many protect users on this team. I think I should go Rotom. He has protect, right? Yeah, we'll go Rotom on lead. I'll bring Kartana in the back and, you know, we'll bring the Swampert. Let's see if Swampert can do anything in this game. I could have brought Kartana, but I want to try out Swampert so bad. And it's a bulky boy, you know? What's the EV spread on this guy? 252 HP, 232 attack, 20 speed. Okay, interesting. I'm not sure what it does exactly. Hopefully something useful. Alright, yeah, that's the lead. They should have always gone with. I'm immune to Prankster, and I can most definitely survive a Dragon Energy if I Dynamax my Moltres right here. So I'll just Dynamax Max Airstream into the Reggie Drago. And just go for a raw protect on the Rotom. Since they can't fake tears me, they can only go for like Tailwind. Watch them just Moonblast into Dragon Energy and completely destroy my guy. There's my dad in the stands. He's proud of me. <laughs> yeah, Whimsy got Reggie Drago so, so threatening on a team that doesn't have a fairy. As I Dynamax up here. Big boy Moltres, let's see what he can do. Hopefully he eats the hit well enough. Like I said, it's only, it has no HP investment. It has four special defense, and that's all the bulk it has. I mean, if I can take this hit, I should be fine. I might even get my Berserk. There's the Tailwind, and the Dragon Energy is 100% coming out here. Let's see if it's uh, Scarf or Specs or whatever. Specs would hurt real bad. All I hope is that it's locked into Dragon Energy. We don't get our Berserk, which means this isn't going to be doing too much, but... I mean, it means we can click it again. I'm hoping that it is locked into Dragon Energy more than anything. That'd be the best outcome here. So now I'm going to do something a bit risky. I'm not going to target down that Reggie Drago, since it's not really threatening to Moltres anymore. As long as it's locked in, I'm hoping it's Specs, and I'm going to Nasty Plot up with my Rotom. Because if I can get speed boost on Rotom in a nasty plot, I should be able to win. Yep, they withdraw the Reggie Drago. Hopefully they give me my weakness policy here. I 
Ooh, and you know what? You know what? Oh, he taunted me there. Okay, that's a bit that's a bit disappointing, you know? They should be going for a trick room, I think, with their Nihiligo. Hmm. I really want to go for a Max Darkness into a Thunderbolt. On the Nihiligo, since it might do it. I mean, I have the Swampert to hard wall it. I could always just go Swampert right here and knock out the Whimsicott. Let me try this. I'm going to go for the, um... I'm going to go for the Max Darkness on the Whimsicott. And I'm going to hard swap out Rotom for Swampert. Since they shouldn't be able to one-shot my... They shouldn't be able to one-shot my Moltres without Dynamaxing here, and they might just go for Trick Room. Under Trick Room, I should underspeed the Nihiligo every single time and then just threaten the KO. There's the Fake Tears. Okay, luckily I resist the Rock-type move, so... Oh, Meteor Beam. No, I'm not going to take that very well. It seems my defensive switch did not work out well. Oh, they went for it into the Moltres. Interesting. Hmm. How do I do this? I can send out Kartana. Who should definitely take a hit. But do I knock out the Whimsicott or do I knock out Nihiligo? They have one more turn of Tailwind, right? Kartana, you better be able to take this hit, man. He's not gonna, by the way. He's not. Uh, let me go for the Smart Strike into the Whimsicott. And I'm actually gonna swap out into Rotom on hopefully a... Like, I, I don't mind giving this thing plus three as long as I get plus one on my Kartana to knock it out with Smart Strike, you know? But it's obviously the Dynamax option. Nihil go protects. Okay, that worked out. They fake tears. Makes sense. I have to be real careful with that uh, Regidrago now. But Regidrago should be slower than my boy. And I should be faster than this uh, Nihiligo now. Hmm. There's the Zerka tree. Alright. This is a very scary play. But I think I have to go for it. I'm going to go for a Smart Strike into the Nihiligo. And I also want to overheat into it just in case it lives. Like in case it Dynamaxes, this might pick up a KO, but it's still very scary. Maybe I just go into my... Maybe just go into Swamp right here. You know what? I'll just do it. I'll just do it. Because <laughs> they're going to Dynamax, yeah. That's why I'm doubling into it here, because... It's going to resist the hit, but maybe I'll get lucky enough where I get a crit. Oh, wait, they Dynamaxed this thing? Okay, interesting. Glad I didn't, <laughs> glad I didn't sack the Swampert, you know? Is it max speed on the Nihiligo? They usually aren't max speed. No, they're not max speed. Good. They should KO at plus one. Get my boost. Overheat into high horsepower should do it. Since they're likely just going to KO my Kartana here. Max Lightning, that'll KO me. And it's really dependent on the uh, Regidrago set now. This, oh wait, no, this circuitry does get Energy Ball, so that's going to be scary. Because I missed my Overheat, dang it, okay. It depends. If the Zergatry has Energy Ball, which they, they likely do. Like, there's no reason to run... En there's, like, there's no HP Ice this gen, so they definitely have Energy Ball. Uh, my safest play, though, I suppose, is just to go for the High Horsepower into the Zergatry. And also 
overheat to KO the Reggie Drago. There's the Draco Meteor. Into the Rotom. That kind of tells me that they, they definitely have the Energy Ball. Because if they don't have Energy Ball on this Zerga Tree, that, that play would make no sense. Yeah, there it is. Alright, good game. I'm going to say that might be... Oh, wait, no, that's definitely Scarf, right? I think that had to be Scarf on the Reggie Drago then. Considering how they played it, how they switched out early, that sort of thing. So good game to my opponent there. Let's get one more for the vid. All right. Oh, I should have checked. I was curious. All right. Now, hopefully Swamper can actually do something in this game and not just immediately go down. Against Sayami. Okay. Um, This definitely doesn't look like a good game for Swampert. I mean, maybe on lead, but it depends on the uh, Venusaur. Hmm. How do I do this? I mean, I definitely want to bait a max overgrowth. I'll go Swampert Moltres. In the back. I think I definitely need Rotom and... Hmm. I'll go Kartana. They do have a couple of fire types, but as long as they don't have, like, Weather Ball on the uh, Venusaur, I can play around it effectively enough that I feel comfortable with that play. Because I could, like, start spamming Max Airstream with the Kartana. You know, the fighting move is good for the Urshifu. There's a couple of things Kartana could do here. Okay. So let's see how they lead off. It's likely just going to be Torkoal Venusaur. Ooh, okay. So Regieleki and Urshifu Dark. I think I actually really, really like this lead. Um... Dang, do I Dynamax the Swampert? Bro, is it is it Dynamax Swampert time? Likely not. You know, likely not, but it'd be really cool if I could do that. I think I want to go into Rotom after my initial Protect, because they should go for screens here, I think. What am I saying? I could probably just knock out this... Uh, <laughs> I could knock out this Urshifu right here. If I went for Max Airstream, but it's a little risky. Do I play risky or do I play... Do I play crazy? Let's play crazy. Let's let's do what they call throwing for content. As the kids say, let's throw for content. I'm actually going to airstream into this uh, Reggie Alecki. Because it might just go for like reflect and live the hit, you know? Let's throw for content. That's what we're doing today. Because my, my Moltres can most definitely take a hit. There's the Thunderbolt. Are you Specs? You are not. Give me that weakness policy. Give me that Berserk. Oh yeah, it's gamer time. Close combat, we live that. I told you. I told you, we live that. <laughs> now they do have the Sucker Punch, but I could mess with them here. I could mess with them here. I, I don't think they take two high horsepowers. That was not very effective. That's funny. That's actually really funny. They might be able to trap me though. If they have a if they have a Venusaur in the back, they could trap me here by making it so I can't like I'm gonna lose my guy, right? Oh no, they went, we went they went with this. Okay, interesting. So I think they've still kind of trapped me here. Because I could high horsepower... 
the Urshifu and protect, but regardless, they get their Trick Room up. How do I fare under Trick Room? Not terribly. I don't fare terribly. I'm going to go for a Protect and try to knock out this thing, because I can beat the... Um, I can beat the Porygon under Trick Room, I think. Let me Max Guard on the Sucker Punch. If they don't Trick Room, that's great for me. Yep, there's the Sucker Punch. But I think they've still trapped me here. Yep, there's the Trick Room. I can preserve my Moltres, I think. I'm going to say that there's just a Torkoal in the back. Oh, a Venusaur. Okay. Huh. How do I do this? I can go into... I can go into Kartana and eat the hit. And I can also go into Rotom. I'm just going to double out. I don't feel comfortable staying in after getting a speed boost. So we're going to end the Dynamax early. And if I called their targeting right, this should be like the play that minimizes the damage I take. And I'm fairly certain that my Rotom will be under speeding this uh, Venusaur. Let me see, actually. How much speed does this Rotom have? 132. I should be under speeding a Venusaur. They're usually max speed. So I'm expecting a max um, Vine Lash into the Swampert slot, which is now the Kartana, who should times four resist it and take pretty much nothing. And probably a Thunderbolt or an Ice Beam into the... Oh no, just a tri -tac. Okay, that's not great since I'm actually going to be taking a decent amount here. My the max Vine Lash, let's see. Kartana takes nothing, that's great. And I can't afford a Nasty Plot or anything. I think I just have to go for the Raw Overheat. So I'm going to double into this thing. It's going to go for the raw overheat. Is that my play? Can I win if I do this? Yeah, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Today, we were playing as the little toaster who could. In hopes that he can. Rotom, no crit. No status either. Actually, can he be status by any of these things? Yeah, sleep and uh, freeze. Overheat would have thought us though. Max Ooze. Ooh, do we take that? Please take it. We do not take that. Okay. Ah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. It's a good play by my opponent. They're now at plus one. I do underspeed them with the Venusaur, though. As they have a flying resist berry. Uh, that's not good. I'm going to go Venusaur here. Or not Venusaur. Uh, I'm going to go Swamp right here. And hope that Ice Punch into... <laughs> hope that Ice Punch into Aerial Ice can do it, but I really doubt it does. How many turns of Trick Room are left? Two turns. Okay. Go for the Aerial Ace. Let's see if they have, like, Weather Ball or anything to hit the Kartana. Probably an Earth Power, I would assume, is the move they're carrying. Maybe I'll we'll get a Lucky Freeze. Who knows? There's the Tri-Attack. Probably into Kartana. Yep. We're not going to eat that. All right, not eat it well, I mean. Oh, come on. Come on now. Can I get a freeze too? That'd be great. Nope. Okay, nothing for me. That's fine. I mean, Cartown would have gone down anyway, so I guess it's fine. Watch, I'm going to get a lucky freeze. I guarantee it. I'm going to get the lucky freeze, and that's going to win me the game. So I take some damage from the Vine Lash. And I healed off with the leftovers. Let's go Moltres here. I can't protect because I'll get KO'd by Vine Lash. Am I modest or timid on my Moltres? I am timid, so I am going to outspeed the Venusaur. But unfortunately, um, <laughs> that doesn't really matter because the Trick Room is up. All right, I guess I just double into the into the Venusaur and hope for the best. Because there's still, like, all the turns of Vine Lash, pretty much. Yeah, there's still one more turn of G-Max Vine Lash, so I can't avoid that damage. 
I just have to double into, into the uh, Venusaur and hope for like a crit or something. As they protect, interesting. Try attack to knock out this guy. I guess that made sense since the trick room is going away. Uh, my out is just hoping they miss a Leaf Storm, pretty much. Since it's pretty rare for them to run Energy Ball in this format, they definitely they definitely like running Leaf Storm more. So my out, they miss Leaf Storm, I crit my Ice Punch, and then I somehow beat a Porygon too. I really doubt I win, by the way. I've already accepted my loss. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just playing to see if I can get lucky. Let's see. They're thinking, they're like, hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, this. That's fun. There's the Frenzy Plant, they're running that? Okay, interesting. So good game to the opponent. I don't mind the last turn ally switch since I didn't know it existed, I don't really care. But yeah, uh, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Sorry I was only able to pick up one win. Like I said, it was my first time using the team, but I still like the team quite a bit. I think it functions very well. Uh, I just don't pilot it as well as someone who made it probably did. But yeah, with that, I'm going to call it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and it. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. And yeah, have a nice night. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.